All right, guys, we're sitting out here at the range, and I'm doing a little bit of practicing with the full Monty. And this is shooting offhand, uh, unsupported, not offhand, but just shooting unsupported at uh, a target. These are the Primo targets that are about 75 yards away, the 55 grain uh, 5.56 Federal ammo. Uh, but this is good practice uh, just to be able to shoot targets. So a lot of times when you're shooting three gun, you're going to be shooting targets like this. Okay. As you can tell, I need a lot more practice. So I'm going to do a video here in a little while. I thought it'd be interesting to talk about what type of firearms guy are you, a tactical, uh, are you, yada yada. Well, anyway, we'll get to it. But what I want to do now is we're going to load up another mag, and then I'm going to shoot those Primo targets at about 75 yards with these things. Uh, now, typically, let me show you this. This is... Uh, a AR-500 plate. You guys can barely see it. Let me set this. I'm out here on a private range. So this is an AR-500 plate that I coated with a full can of truck bed liner. All right, guys. Go to Boy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here on my back patio, and I've got some protective paper down. You hear a bunch of construction going on, and the cicadas are going nuts. But in any case, what we're looking at are two AR-500 plates. Both of these are level three, and they came from a company called RTS Tactical. Now, the interesting thing here is that I have one sample here that has zero spall protection on it, as you can see right here. And this guy, I did a, had to clean it up real good, uh, because what we're gonna do is conduct a little experiment. This particular plate was sent out without any spall protection. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something. If you are ordering plates without spall protection, you're endangering yourself. If you anticipate they're going to provide you any protection. Uh, these were shot with a 9mm pistol. As you can see, no problem doing that. But the issue that you're going to have, and if you're not aware of this, the spall are, is what explodes or expands. And it shatters and it goes in a vertical direction. So if you're wearing this, I'll tell you what, watch this video real quick. I'm going to show you what old Sammy the uh, balloon head did when he was shot with an AK-47. Here we go. Okay, so what that was meant to do was simulate someone's head right here. If you get shot with a, I don't know, 7.62 by 39 and you don't have spawn protection in, what happens is, is that thing will hit and everything under here is going to be bleeding after you get shot. All right, so here is the same plate with some spawn protection on it. We are going to conduct the same experiment with this plate as we did in that previous, and I'm going to show you the difference. Spall protection is meant to capture. The bullet hits it, it expands, it implodes underneath this, and this is meant to capture that spall to protect you from getting hurt. Here's the experiment we're going to do today, because we've already done and <laughs> shot this guy right here. I want to treat it with this Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. This is, this is for fun, guys. This is something that I haven't done in a long time, like have fun. We're actually going to do a full-blown review of these plates here. We're going to shoot them with everything under the sun to see how they fare. Uh, interestingly enough, level 3 at 25 yards against 223 or uh, 5.56, 55 grain. It's amazing the difference. Uh, you would think that it could uh, withstand that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've already taken the liberty of shaking this thing up pretty good. I'm going to, to suspend it. I've already degreased it. I'm going to suspend it just like that. And we're going to put a bunch of coats on this thing and see how well it holds up out on the range. Here we go. In any case, I thought this would be a, a cool little video to do. Now that uh, Chuck Schumer feels the need to go ahead and prevent citizens from everyday, you know, stuff that's bulletproof. And I guess that's because he only wants the military and the police to have something that prevents them from getting killed. Isn't that interesting how that works out? So we're going to let this set up, and then we'll go ahead and apply a couple more coats to it. I'm pretty much going to put this entire can 
on here. I don't know how well it's going to dry with this humidity we have out here. I might drag it inside uh, just to get it out of the humidity. That might be a good idea. I think I should have put it on a little bit better platform. Yeah. Woohoo! That ain't no fun. Well, I can pick it up like that. Alright, so I'm going to take it inside so we can dry it, but we'll do the painting and the extra layers out here. You guys, stand by. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This is uh, level 3. 55 grain, 5.56 will go right through this thing. But what I want to do is I'm going to test it out with some 9 millimeter uh, to see if, in fact, this stuff does it. But before we do that, let's go ahead and blow some uh, more rounds up there at those Primo targets and see how they fare with the 5.56. Uh, the five, five, and then I'm going to stack this guy right here right beside it, and we're going to go ahead shoot it with the 55 grain, see what happens. And then we're going to hammer it up with some 9mm from the Palmetto State Army AKV. Here we go. Let's load up another mag. Stand by. Okay, so now what we got is I've got the two Primo targets down there. And, yeah, it, this is really 70, uh, not 70, this is 50 yards. And uh, they are experiencing some pitting. And that's what, what amazes me is that some people come out here to our range, this local range right here, and they do have some range still out here. And they'll put that stuff at 50 yards, 25 yards, and shoot it with their AR-15s. A lot of people just don't know any better. But yeah, that steel right now is pitted. Uh, probably can't use it for shooting 9mm up close. But uh, what I'm going to do now is we're going to continue. I'm going to put 10 rounds on the, uh, the Primo target stuff. And I'm going to put a couple rounds on the uh, RTS Level 3 uh, AR-500 steel plate. Now, that is one that I took and sprayed down with bed liner. Uh, later on this week, we'll probably go ahead. Here is another steel plate, and this has the factory installed Paul small protection. We're just going to put this in a carrier, and we're going to test it out. I'm going to show you some of their carriers. I've got the uh, multicam as well as the flat dark earth. I've already shot a couple holes through the flat dark earth. As a matter of fact, I destroyed a whole one side of it, just testing it out. Uh, but we're going to put one of these plates in that flat dark earth carrier that they provide. We're going to go over to the the details of the carrier. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, well, I want to show you guys. Let's see if that truck liner can help out. And then we'll pop a couple of uh, uh, nine millimeter rounds at it. Here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and pop around at that AR-500 plate from RTS Tactical. Let's get on down there and see what that looks like. Stand by. Okay, so camera's real bright, bright for a reason. I want you guys to see this. So, uh, truck liner evidently does not work as spall protection. You're not going to get a lot of spall protection from uh, 223 around it, or 556. Five, that stuff is usually going so fast that there's no way to stop it. 3,200 feet per second and change. Anyway, she put a hole right through it, which is interesting is that uh, when we get done with this, I'll shoot it with a green tip. You can see the difference. All right, so right now what I want to do is I'm going to put it up on to the hill here, and let's go ahead and shoot it from about 10 yards with 9 millimeter and see what happens. Stand by. I got the AKV right here. Let's see, I can see better like this. And uh, let's give it a shot. Let's move back a little further. And. Make sure my eyes <laughs> protected. Hmm. Let's see it. I don't think it captured anything. And like I said, in an upcoming review, when we actually do the uh, small protected steel as well as the carrier protection, we'll perform this test one more time. Let me see what that looked like. Well, it appears that I shot it in the same exact location. Let's see if I can shoot a little center left. Here we go. I just wanted to see where the brass was going. I got to pick this stuff up later on. All right. So that's what 
that looks like. Now, it peeled it away pretty good, but uh, I don't think you should rely on truck bed liner alone. Some people made some suggestions about using Kevlar or whatever. I just say this, either buy the protective spa covering or buy it with the spa protection in place. Don't try to mess with it on your own. Uh, also, Primo targets. Looks like I'm gonna need some more steel, boys. Let's go to Boy32. If you like this video, this is a lot of fun. I, uh, I just enjoy shooting a lot. Uh, and that's it, man. This is hanging with me at the range when I'm not trying to uh, do something other than be cool. All right, guys, here we are. And we're getting ready to test green dips out on the RTS Tactical uh, AR500 place. Now, this is, that's just the plate down there that I put some, uh, what do you call it? truck bed liner on it. I would not suggest ever do, doing that and feeling safe uh, to wear that into any kind of situation. And uh, But don't tell Democrats that because now they think that uh, any firearm that is semi-automatic is considered an assault rifle. So what we want to do, I don't know if you can still see it, you can. You see that down there in the corner. I've got a camera down there. I'm going to be using my favorite rifle. I should probably put airs on. Eh, let's see what happens. I'm gonna put this all the way out there. Let's go down there and check it out. Okay. There it is. A green tip. Steel penetrators do not penetrate, but your regular old 55 grain, knock its bottom out. <laughs> Sorry to me to say that, it's pretty bad. But anyway, uh, man, I wish this guy had stayed up. You can see the heat from my, where it's in my trunk. Look at that. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what a green tip will do. That's what a 55 grain will do. So all the people out there shooting the uh, green tips thinking it'll penetrate this stuff, Nope. So with that being said, guys, I hope you like this little demonstration. Don't rely on a uh, self-applied uh, spa protection. Get the stuff that's already coming on there. It's Cutter Boy 32. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.